on. We're straight underway here and over towards B3 men off the bat. It won't be I disbalance. Uh, it will be I disbalance uh, over towards the B side of things with flashes. Mavix has already taken uh. some contact and straight up mid they go, but it could just be a bit of around the world. So posturing forward and pushing them back, they forced the rotation out of the B players and now they're dropping on towards oh. the B side of things. Oh yeah, and disbalance has used all of his goodies or at least the first flash. Shock's jumping across to make the second frag easy and that's a ridiculous connection as Chopper was moving. The inaccuracy benefiting him into the head of Zaiwu. Bomb across and spotted. So this is the commitment. Fakes with bodies, not players or smokes. Now, oh, smoking Mir off. So this is to give the idea that nobody will be coming through Banana, but Mir will limp through this, and there's a flash for Eye Disbalance as well. So setting up for this retake, flash goes in. Oh, good shots, and now it's all onto Apex. And Magix will clean it up nicely. So some precise aim and a coordinated retake does work out. The individuals hitting the necessary shots. We didn't even need to use the trap card of um, here coming up through the banana smoke there. They got it done with ease. So good stuff there. And Vitality, that's a strategy that I'm sure many of you have probably run before in a, in a bit of a pug. You know, let's run top banana, push it back, run top mid, push it back. They did get access to the bomb site and they did plant. So we all know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. The four spy is on the cards. Oh, I, I'm going to make a game, Chad, next year when yep. we're doing content and stuff. All right. I tell you now, I'm going to do a game where I'm going to find clips of Apex and you tell me whether he's lost the first round or the last round of a tournament. Okay. You know? And we'll see. That was that's, the a good, that's a good game. That, that was the pistol round. and uh, That looked like he just lost the major. It's all over. The tears, the confetti now. <laughs> Regardless, that's the first going to Spirit Way. Look at all these Mac 10s. Look at how dangerous this could actually be. And it is that three man B lane that we were just prefacing before. So a nice little dunk nade coming on out, doing a lot to Chopper, a little bit to Magix. And if I'm Vitality and I have this much room towards Alt Middle, I'm probably setting up with a set piece. I've got a bunch of smokes. I can do one over towards Library or Arch. I can do closer smokes and run through them myself. I could do the pit wall of smokes and get on in there. Oh, look, they just pulled out the balcony players or pit players smoke already as well. So no chance of being gray screened as you're about to do your exec. Trying to keep the CTs busy and checked on Banana. You can see they're making steps to hope that pulls out Chopper's smoke, but he's being much more reserved with it. Look how much room they have. So they know Top Banana was stacking clear. stacking Balk? Oh, One anti-flash? Yo. Smoke on the hay bales. STY drops off. That's even better bait. They may not anticipate anyone on that balcony now as they go flying over. Here we are. Oh, he's looking oh, the he just way. ran away for the flash. He turns back into it. Oh, that's a disaster. Oh. And look at that. They just bound into the site, bouncing off every box they can find. And it's three quick frags. Should very well convert into a round. How scary are these MAC-10s with the a light bit of utility behind them? This is the second round of the game. Counter-Strike is wild these days. You're never getting a moment to breathe. You hardly even get a chance to catch your bloody breath. As Team Spirit are left with Mir and Chopper over towards the B side of things, holding onto... Their invested weaponry, MP9 for the Chop Dog, or Big Chop Chop, Uncle Chop Chop. That's a reference, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, a prolific Australian criminal called Chopper Reed, and they made a movie about him. Probably don't watch that with your kids. Or well, you probably are kids, in which case just probably don't watch it. Yeah, don't watch it. Probably one of those MA15 plus options. Me with the M4, though. It's a handy weapon to be carrying on through, but it's a bonus round uh, for Vitality, getting to hold on to all five of the upgraded weapons going into round number two. That looked very comical from Zywa's POV. Look at the Apex jump. Hello. Jesus, try and track me now. He's doing parkour. He is. Oh, I, yeah. No, don't ask a conversation for the, the friend, Chad, not the one that where you're actually talking live on it. Unless it's an eco. No, it's not. What, what oh, happened? I just marathoned like this UK parkour group on YouTube yeah. and they're called Stora and it was really cool. They were doing these water challenges. Okay. They were doing like bloody ridiculous jumps onto poles in the middle of a bridge. It's very, very exciting. Sounds interesting. It was a fun evening. I have lots of information to convey to you when we're doing our private time. This is, this is actually private time, Alex? Yeah. Yeah. Me, private time. Yeah. Conversations couch, without no. microphones in front of our face. That's what I mean. The force buy back from Team Spirit, I think it was expected. I just balance is holding on to a thousand. He wants to make sure he can get the AWP up if the gun round does follow in round number five. And I say five because if Spirit lose this, they will have to take a save. This one's playing out a little bit more of a regular fashion from Vitality. They're postured knowing that they have the advantage going into round number three. But it's still a deadly buy that they have to deal with in a four-man lean towards the top and middle. Yeah, if they overcommit to this, he's done well to find the dink onto Mir because that's one of the heavy hitters. That's the M4, the only one in play. He's going to 
Scarper away. Oh, wow. They've done so well to soften him up. Disbalance. Double dig, maybe even a triple here. Yeah, that's perfect. Law of attrition, one. Apex can't do anything. And so this battle of the four spies, this is the other side of the coin. This is what happens when it doesn't quite work out. But look at the money on the vitality side of things because they kept everybody alive in their second round the four Mac spies. 10s, yeah. And they got the bomb down and the Mac 10s, of course. They're able to get a full buy into this round after just losing a round. Yeah. Their buy will actually look better than the one for Spirit because they're going to hold on to a couple of MP9s here. You're not wrong, Chad. In fact, it really looks... <laughs> it's so topsy-turvy. And this is when they eventually break the CTs and they have to give up this war because they can't keep up. Precisely. I understand now why you get upset about this new change. I, now I just accept it. Yeah, I know, but like I understand now... The frustration. Frustrations, because it feels like Spirit are being punished for... Winning. Winning. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I get it. All right, well, if Vitality are able to make these AK-47 sing, they need to get Brackets control first. So a smoke over towards the arch side is a good place to kick things on off. Flash over, I just bounce holding out Maltov over even to obscure the quad side and lock them in. His nade is going to trickle on out a little bit too soon, but a chunk of damage onto Masuda nonetheless. That's making the M4s more potent. Not needing the secondary bullet after the dink. It will be the one... Bullet headshot from the M4 of Mir and Ida's balance. Go on, Mir. Been really enjoying watching him play, and now he's going to have to essentially one-man hold B unless Chopper can get over there in time. He does have a smoke grenade and a Molotov. Chopper has a flash. Oh, that's an easy lineup from Nubox. Get some smoke and his incendiary down. That's perfect timing. And they should be able to inflict some damage. It's one for one. Chopper, oh, oh he runs out of bullets. A good chance into right. Zywu. NT's in the chat from Chatty B. Disbalance has fallen as well. So now rotating in, they will want to try and find that AK, scoop it off the ground, going for a dunk onto Shots. And he does half his health. Another smoke deployed. More options removed. A flash, perhaps? A flash push through the smoke we saw. Oh, oh I like up. it. Yeah, there's a world where this works. You know, it's still one new box. Apex might likely to take that double jiggle with it. Oh, great shot. They needed it to be first frag, and now re-peaking his Zywoop. Running out of chances, SDY's made a sound cue, and that is where it ends. All right, well, is this the end of the Force by Wars? First map, Spirit were the ones to concede first. Let's see if they want to do it again here on Inferno. Zywoop did well to mop that up, but Chopper almost had a fantastic push, and I love the way that Spirit reacted off of the pounce because Vitality went contact, right? You saw that as their smokes and flashes were coming in, they were already entering the site and they were ready. Mir was ready. He did drop the smoke just in time. His Molotov was good as well. The flash from Chopper was good. It felt like they had multi-kill potential there, unable to land the necessary shots and that will give Vitality the second round and tie things up two to two here. Spirit will be taking the timeout to discuss their options because Chopper has enough to go for a, a half buy. Mir could do the same if they wanted. They could go all in. We saw them do some mad stuff with shotguns before. We had magics boosted up towards the quad side, getting a triple kill with that. We also had Mir last time we saw Spirit playing on Inferno, winning some crazy clutches on their pistol rounds on both sides. But they will concede. They will bow and will bend the knee, and they will just opt for a single flashbang in the hands of Chopper. Three man stack in the site. Chopper over towards CT spawn with the flash ready to deploy to deal with the attack. Magic's making noise in the apartment. See him jumping. That audible is to allow the T's to know, hey, there's someone here that's going to be communicated back. It'll go through the ranks. Apex will be hearing that information and hopefully going, oh, well, if they're in apartments, maybe they have pistols, maybe it's up close. We might not want to hit that side, but no, no, no. They're just happy to truck on through three players. Exiting out of the hall's position, Masuta leading the way with that Mac 10. So everything picture perfect for Vitality as they get a free bomb site. It'll be a free plant, and then they can just lock down and make sure that the CTs can't get close enough to take away any of these rifles. Shock's going with a site plant, which is good for a pit defense. And here's a, that's a little triple boost. What does Disbalance actually see? Uh, good question. Okay, so he's just an elevated angle for the crossback. Yeah. So yeah, you'll see every, everything uh, on the radar, ladies and gentlemen, just taking a look at the top left, the CTs, the little blue snake now moving through spawn, quite the distance away from the T side. So there shouldn't be too much damage inflicted. This might be one of the <laughs> unicorn rounds that we, we do talk about. That's the Ang. This is like they're building a transformer. It's like Megazord <laughs> from Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Oh, at least they're having fun. I, I mean, I'm imagine coming around that corner. You've been reading your books. You come uh, on out. Oh, you, you guys are here.
I'm gonna head out. Bang. <laughs> you got your book back. Oh. Oh. So many options. Hiding in the flower pots as well. And they don't have to go too far to get back to spawn, Chad. It's nice. That's you know, good. Saving the steps. Uh, you want to... You want to make sure you, you're doing at least how many how many steps you need a day? Ten thousand steps? No, I think that was just an arbitrary number someone once attributed and people took as gospel. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, it's like the ten thousand hours thing. Some guy just said, "Oh, maybe that's the case," and everyone was like, "Yeah, it is the case." And someone said, "That's the case of they." No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. The bloody days. Yeah. Three not really. Two. I'm seeing a big lean of early util from these CTs. This is exactly what you were talking about, Chad. That early util. See the gap over towards A though, right? There are only one player jiggle peeking end of holes and I one see. was towards the arch side. So if they wanted to accelerate over towards that side of the map, there is a really good opportunity for them to get away with it. But they've inflicted a bunch of utility damage towards Mir and Magic's early, both around that half HP mark before they've even seen an enemy. Yeah, and that's is, good as it is. This is dreamy for Vitality. Like three CTs chunking their nades down. They basically leave what? Mir with his smoke and then Sandry, Chopper with only his smoke. So it does make sense. Two smokes to buy time on the B defense after the initial, but no real utility damage to get excited about. That's the first of two smokes dropped. Oh, he wants to play around the edge of this. This could work wonderfully. He did catch a glimpse of RPK. It's all by design, but just get away with his life for now. Hasn't drawn a rotate. If anything, Magix is still just digging his heels at A without the confirmation. This is good for Spirit, however, because Vitality have now only left themselves with a little bit of utility. It will become heads-up fights here more than overwhelmed by Molotovs. Magix is in front of this as well. Yes, yeah, good smokes, though. Completely denies the info, and they've, they've spotted Misuta. That's got Mir rotating out of B. And now Misuta can leap behind him and take his head off. Love the initiative from the young gun. Chopper is in a boosted position, but doesn't really have the... Grounds for a multi-kill. Masuta just dropping a deep smoke and upgrading to an AK. This is a perfect round from the French. And nothing SDY and Disbalance have been able to contribute. They've spent the whole round at A just listening to the comms. And that's a real problem there. And you see as Shox entered into that B bomb site, Mia, low HP from the early utility damage, dropped like a fly. You know, it didn't need a whole lot. It doesn't need to be a headshot at that uh, part of the game anymore. And, well, unfortunately... That's going to be round number four on the board for Vitality. Is he going to look on up? Well, SDY is going to look on down. And RPK, Masuta, and Apex, they don't need to hunt for these guns. They can let them hold on to them. It's not necessarily the end of the world to allow Spirit to keep two rifles, especially with that CT sided setup that they're going for. 2750 and 2400, respectively, for SDY and Idis Balance going into the following round here. So the loss bonus, as you can see, was 2400. Next round, it will be 2900. They just could take a save here. Light upgrade into some P250s. Maybe some Deagles if they want to get a little bit exuberant. Exuberant? Mm. It's an exuberant word. So I'm pretty sure my memory is, is, is not great, but um, Mir and Chopper were together back in the Vega Squadron roster all those years ago. Oh, man. That was the team that I was forgetting. Yeah. They caused quite the uproar. Many a time. They, are, they were part and parcel of the CIS oh, underdogs at Majors story, yeah. yeah. The sharks that ate the ninjas. Ooh, Chopper gets dunked down to one. Yeesh. Not fun for him, but the fact that he can just stick around at B and, and call the info, enabling the stack, does mean they can put all of their eggs into the right basket. They go holes again. This is the perfect call. They're going to get out for free. Hello. Oh, mid-air. And Magix is popping heads with a P250. It comes down to shocks, and he does manage to do the damage necessary. Sketchy, though. Chopper from library, mirror into the apps. I like the flank around. Could have the element of surprise if Chopper can do anything to draw attention his way. Captain on menu for now. Steps. That is, that's what he opts for. Gives Shock something to look at, something to focus on. Masuta staring at the apps, and that's Chopper drawing the attention he needed to. This is great work. Look at that. Catching one, Chopper with one HP actually winning the duel onto Shox. There should be no way. Suta holding the off angle and sweeping for oh it. My Chopper, God. that is ridiculous. He's got time, I think. A 10 second defuse as well. With one HP, no armor, no kit. No problem. Oh, that's so no. sad. That's so no. sad. Chopper deserved it. Oh, oh come on. Give him that one. He took all the nade damage at the start and was able to get those two frags. Oh. How does he do that? I want the poor soul. The poor soul. I mean, he's probably not even bothered, but like this, 
deserved the defuse. Oh. oh, right down to the wire. Look at it. So, so close. Oh, oh man. <laughs> okay, well, the guns are out now. Yeah. Let's see if they can get it done. Idis Bounce has the AWP. Let's get Spirit in this. Let's give him something to cheer about. Here's the three-man Belian again, but Zywu with his signature move, the closer. Yeah, I can't believe he actually gets away scar free. Not a single point of damage. That could change. Charging down his chopper. Disbalance has caught Apex elsewhere in middle on the relocation. Ooh. More aggressive stance on Banana. RPK is given the responsibility of containing that. Far from easy. Chopper would be brave to pick this here, but it looks like he wants to move. Got some ants in his pants. That doesn't sound pleasant, does it? RPK is making so much noise and he has the bomb as well. Now that he's running away, that sound cue, it's either bait or it's real. And we see it's real. Chopper doesn't know, but the rotation will come in with the four-man lean. Oh, okay, so similar as before, but this time with weapons. We saw how close it got when they were on the shoddy by. The CT is just patrolling. Brackets is theirs. Mirror around the smoke might look to punish here. And that's the open up. Masuto, they start to flood in. Good catch through the smoke again. From Mir, the contribution. SDY lines them up. Burnt alive. Need one from Zywu. Magic's not interested. As he takes the AWPer down and takes the AWP into the next round, it's going to be for disbalance. That's what they needed. Team Spirit needed to go ahead and collect a couple in quick succession. That was what previously kind of bit them in the backside on Mirage, Chad, is they do this, then Vitality do what Vitality do best, and it's a Deagle headshot. Suddenly they're saving, and it's an awkward retake, and... Life gets uh, messy. You just made me get all worried about CTs all the time now. <laughs> it's not as bad as it sounds, but that's why when we're watching games and teams are saving all the time and it yeah. comes across as a little bit boring, they have to, right? They have to make sure that they can double dip as much as possible. And if they don't get an opportunity to save, as now this is the change I'm talking about. Because they play three banana, we can go for more of a pouncy play from Vitality. All of them top mid already. They're going with 130. They're taking advantage of this. Yes, and Disbalance plucking out the MAC-10. That wasn't the lion's share, and oh my goodness, they nearly lined up for the Kalat. Magic's real good shot here for a double. Zai was trying to find a safe haven, but he's pre-firing everything, even bullets into Mir. They really have found the necessary frags. Masuta nearly getting away with murder. A one versus two now. What was a one versus four? He's on for an ace clutch. Flash to try and get across. Magix is in that smoke. Masuta really has been reinvigorated as he's grown with this roster, Chopper's on the safe haven flank, so he should be able to confirm that as Masuta tries to hunt down Magix, oh, he's so low as well. Masuta, as it fades, he's got a sh small window. He's hiding from apps. And as it fades, he continues his hunt. And that's when Chopper makes it all the more difficult. Now anticipating Magix to try and double peek him. He's oh. out, and there it is. Kept safe. Masuta a threat, though, and you can see he's got, um, he's got a brain on him. Yeah, and he's got some new poise to him, the youngster. It's good to see. French talent, it had slowed down for a little while. Obviously, the Heretics roster over there with Nevera, who's actually uh, Belgium, from Belgium. Screams, brother. He was uh, one of the, the newer names who's been talked about a lot. Maka was the AWPer from Heretics. He's been already around for a couple of years. But Masuta was just a straight-up rookie. Getting picked and plucked and put into a squad like Vitality. Big shoes to fill, and it has taken a couple of months with teething issues, but now we're starting to see some of the better Counter-Strike out of him than we've witnessed before. It's going to be just a pistol up. Oh, STY has been dinked. They're trying to hunt him down. Shocks with the Glock. He does a little bit more damage, but STY gets around the corner, able to mop things up. His magics, he's here. Make sure he's playing spoiler, and oh, look at this. They've completely stifled any chance Vitality had of going for a quick approach. Heads up, Counter-Strike looking good for Spirit, and that's going to be round number five on the board. Five, five. Ten rounds into the second map. This is the choice of Vitality. They pick to take it to this realm. Realm. Here. That's, I kind of felt like that belonged in the category, but you don't say realm as often. Oh, now, if you haven't noticed, there's a subtle wallpaper detailing here in Magic's apartment. Nice yeah, I didn't circular, uh, spherical, repeated pattern. Hmm. Okay. Good to see the various approaches to interior design of the of the world, you know. Like I saw a door about behind who was it, Mantu, and it just looked like an English is it definitely English was house's a door. Sure. Exactly, yeah. it was so British. Yeah. And so um, that's something I'm slowly learning. Buildings have personality, Chad. As I take pictures of them, I'm learning. Oh, that's nice. No different countries have different balconies. Shutters, for example, very prominent in Germany. It's curious with all the different design choices in the world, isn't it? Obviously, a lot of them have done for. 
functional reasons. Ah, let's have a look at what we've got the uh, the design theme here. And this is based in like Italy, is it? I'm not sure. I won't, won't pretend that I know. Oh yeah, yes, I've got a nod. Thanks, Rush. Hey, Rush. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're, pre we're pretty good. We're going to play some Danger Zone tonight, right? Yes, I'm very ready for that. I would like to play some Danger Zone with you. I've uh, missed playing Danger Zone. I played alone the other day. It was not fun at all, to be honest. Wow, are you observing and talking at the same uh, time? I'm doing both right now. I'm going to press 8 real quick, just see what Shock sees. I do see Banana Control. There's a lot of smokes down, so I don't know what can be seen right well, now. Talk but... us through this one, Rush. We'll yeah. give you this round. Well, they've obviously cheered Mir over this round, so they got a four-man A stack, and the way the T's are postured right now. It does possibly look like they might actually fall into this trap. They've got the Arch Smoke down. I'll be curious to see if they want to boost. However, this HE, I don't like how they throw these HEs now. They bounce them, look. So it doesn't go in, it goes like there. Oh, uh, you need to move your camera a bit. Yeah, well, I don't know why they do that, to be honest. To get them with brackets control. They're trying to let them have brackets oh, control first. They're ah! going to push through. They're going to push through, though. Mir is in danger. The flashes are good. Oh, dis disaster now. But shots up It looks like they might be heading B. They've gone through spawn. It's just Chopper alone. How is he going to handle it? Four players coming his way. He's in an odd spot to handle it. Oh, and the headshot from Zaiwu. And I, I think that's a save right here. <laughs> oh, brilliant work, dude. I mean, I can actually, I like that I can hear the key being pressed when he goes, <laughs> oh, and it's Chopper. God, I mean, hold it. That's kind of an extra layer I hadn't really considered before. Yeah, his, this is the Zaiwu noise. Wait. Wow, that sounded more... It does. It, does. it has something to it. Can we have it one more time, Rush? Uh, let me switch, switch off, off quickly. Here's Zaiwu again. Oh, with conviction does every time. Simples sound like Zaiwu's or they have a different feel? Simples is twice as loud, sadly. Oh, okay. You know, I'm, I think Zaiwu's pretty good at the moment, but uh, Simple at the moment is, is top dogger for me. Who's your favorite player to watch in the moment, Rush? Probably Simple. Okay. He's just so damn good. And you get to actually watch it like as if you're... In his eyes. In I his pretend eyes. that I am him sometimes, to be honest. But I know I can never be that good. No, no. Oh. And you're not really Ukrainian or... No, no. Not working out. Strike professional. Well, thanks for helping us, Rush. No um, worries. We, we needed that one there. That was great. Vitality, they needed that round as well. So six on the board. Thank you, Rush Lee Corsilia. One, two, three, four, five, six on Twitter. You can find him. He also does some lovely YouTube content and uh, will be with us every day. So part of the team is old Rush. Or young Rush. Spirit can afford... That saved rifles will be allowing them to go for another crack here. Round number 12. And they continue. The AWP in the hands of I Disbalance. If he can go searching a little bit more, find a couple more frags. Might make the mid-round decision for Vitality a bit harder. Here we go. Oh, the timing on this. Yeah, I don't Very lucky to get away. I don't know if he saw it, but Mir does catch off. He came off guard. A bit comical <laughs> to see that one transpire. Taking heavy damage that as well. Huge, yeah, Vitality are in jeopardy. They want to flash push and actually the boost because completely regain control of Banana. So that's a nice little pivot from Vitality. They were about to be forced out with a mid-round flashbang retake. Instead, with the boost and the frag, they do seize control again. But don't forget about the damage that will continue to echo into the 12th round of play here. Saiwu and Apex operating far from the ideal. That smoke is to suggest that they want to take top mid and then work through with the mid to B. That'll keep the rotations of I Disbalance in play, but it's actually forced them now into the site with a crossfire. That smoke has left Magics with not too many places to look at. And there's going to be a three player halls push. They've done this before and it worked with Mag 10s, but Magics is in such a good position. This should be, oh, the flash. The flash should be enough. They're trying to find him. The sweep of the mouse. Finally, Shox does. A three on three and SDY is in a prime position. Disbalance already finding bodies, but Shox is having a round. Triple kill, flashing off the orb to get that bomb down safe. He's got a second to ensure survival. Oof. And across he gets. Disbalance. A nade onto the noggin, down to 57. Shocks giggling and actually does manage to land the first couple of bullets. He finishes the job. A spectacular round from the veteran Shoxy. Puts the seventh on the board for Vitality and that really did look like Spirit had done enough. So this all started a banana, an early casualty for Vitality. They regained control. This is Shox's frags, though. Let's have a look. SDY was close on the box. He actually deals with Shox. Oh, oh, my God. Jeez Louise. That's great stuff from Shox. He really is having a resurgence in the second half of the season. Ooh. That is big stuff. That's why he was brought into the team. That's why Shox was picked up, to be a closer, to be someone they can use in the lurks, his experience, his ability in those scenarios. And that has put Spirit on the back foot. Pistols, a couple of smokes, HE, nothing fantastic.
Vitality are doing a great job here. They've got two Mac 10s out, a couple of AK 47s. And they can just go for this B finish. So they've got banana control within the first 20 seconds, 30 seconds of the round. They have all the goodies. They've got the mollies. They've got the smokes. Drop it in. Get your flashes. Know your spacing. Run your fight, flight paths, and away we go. What uh, was that from uh, here? Oh, I'm dinked into Masuta as well. That USB could finish him off if they're not careful. That's the bomb carrier. He's going to go through it. Yeah, he wow. is. I think Mir's dead. He is. Good catch in the end, but catching Masuta does slow them down. And with only pistols, this round feels always just a little sketchy. Zywoo's low as well now. He's in the kill range for those sidearms. Must have been a double dink from Mir, unless the damage came from elsewhere. I think you're right. I think he just instantly... Doom. Dead, yeah. Now that Zywoo is low on HP, they can't plant straight away. He has a smoke to drop, but they're waiting for the jewels. They're not giving them any avenues in. And there's the close. So RPK and Apex, they stand strong. They do take a little bit of damage, maybe a little bit of extra damage, but it's not really too many problems because the bank balance on the Vitality side, it's built up. It's looking good. And Spirit, on the other hand, well... At that unfortunate end of the game where they need to get the rifles together no matter what. Let's see if they want to opt for that four-man B lean towards, sorry, that three-man B lean towards the top of Banana again. They've been changing and chopping a little bit more so, but it will be three. Back on over they go. Same setup, SD1I disbalance to deal with A. As soon as they hear all these grenades, that's the cue for Vitality to decide do they want to commit. And it looks like they do. So the flash for RPK, he's going to be going through this. Yes. Whoa, Chopper, again, by the skin of his teeth, gets away with murder. Well, they got the opening in the last round, right? Mir took down. That's true. And then Shox comes through and wins a massive clutch. So they need to avoid that. Spirit can't give away an advantage here. They've actually rotated four towards A. Mir now, as I say, that will be through the speedway. Should be there in time. Has a bunch of utility to stop. This is the pounce again. It's so fast. I was calling it. all of it clear, and he even finds Chopper, finishes him off as... Apex did four, but the rotate, this is going to get awkward. They're so segregated. It's like 50 for 50. Do I want to be setting up for this retake? Disbalance is still paranoid about A. And Mir's getting wall banged. Oh, no. Not gone down, but rare to see the stained glass get any action. I remember thinking that change was going to make a world of different magic with his own lineups, but time is on his side. Oh, Misuta, this is scary business he's dealing with. That's the AWP he's peeking into, and now, yeah, it's Iwoo would have to do something unbelievable. Peeking into the AWP, and that's the end of that. They do have a chance to pick up that Diffuse just in time as well. Surprised they didn't play a little more passively given the, the times, but of course, unaware that the DCTs wouldn't have had a kit. <sighs> Imagine another one. Imagine if it was just down to that last second. Again, the chop around is going to haunt him. Whoa, it's not going to haunt him. No. He pr probably had no business winning that considering how we saw those two kills come through. Yeah. But it's one of those that's like, man, I did so much work and I did such a miracle play on one HP. And this one here, they were able to convert with Idis Bounce. some good shots. Kills being delivered to him. They're having to peek, trying to isolate it and find a couple of kills to make that retake harder. Shock's not happy with how I'm that like, one I'm went definitely down. doing that game. I'm definitely. I'm going to trawl through the old Vitality games, and it'll be like, did they win the round? Did they lose the round? I love the emotion. It's great to it's see. It's so good. Yeah, I know, of course, because, I mean, they, they have to be... We spoke to Shocks, right, and his, his observations about age and its pre prevalence or relevance to the game is much more about passion than anything else. It's not about reaction speeds. You can, you can link me some PDF from some university I've never heard of if you want. It's less about that reaction speed and it's much less about the mechanics, much more about the drive and, of course, the individual ability. That is a that is the majority of the idea of being a professional player. If you ask our observer, he thinks genetics plays a big role as well. I'm sure it does to some regard, but probably not in the way that he uh, prefaces it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fully firm in the belief that those that have worked the hardest and are most passionate typically are the best. Disagree. Interesting. <laughs> Conversation for another time, full weapon round. And last round of the half. I think people are just born world-class gamers. How mad is that? I think he's more with intuition. But let's see if the intuition is going in Spirit's favor as Chop is about to get run Oof. over. Yeah, and their smoke arrives just in the nick of time for the cross. That nade looks promising, but they spread away like a bad smell. Spray just peppering away at the CTs before they arrive for the retake. Okay. Disbalance, a wild shot into the smoke. Grouping up for the construction retake. Flashes are present and prevalent now. And RPK's a sitting duck if those flashes start flying in. He's going to throw out a couple of his own design, though. 
grouped up. Does that mean they're going for aggress? No, that's just to reposition. Find a safe haven. Shocks biding his time as a new smoke is deployed. Apex and Zywoo all just using their utility to buy time. And it's worked out wonderfully. Look how little time they've got. This is the, this is the go. They're going for it. Last round, they have to. Flash and push. And it's a disaster for the first. RPK cleans up. No time for the defuse. SDY is the last on the chopping block. It's nine T rounds posted by the French squad. You do see Team Spirit keeping it competitive. And they have a chance to take us to three on CT. Second map, first game of the day. What are we now? Six days into ESL Pro League Season 12. Chatty B and myself, Machine E, TV, hanging out with the boys in well, black and not yellow. Team Spirit, those in the lime green, are now in the T-side uniforms. They'll be attacking to take us 2-3. Vitality are only seven rounds away after their attack in order to close out this series in a 2-0 fashion. Seeing plenty of Ooh. util. Chopper's got himself a treat. Going for the uh, Molotov on that pistol round always excites me. 4B with Zyla, Zyla is the solo A defender right here. He has actually jumped through for second mid info, but these individuals over towards Top Banana is where the action's at. Yeah, they want to bait them into a fight, get them closer to the half wall, and flash for the repeak. And that works out. Needs some precision. Oh, okay. oh, damn, shocks. He is definitely back in business. Locking onto those multiple targets and massacring what little remains. Where now, the bomb is. Yeah, the magic's great movement, but... 
Bombs at T-Steps. Magic's on A-side. They're duking it out with Zaiwu. Having some fisty cuffs. SDY found out quickly and... Bloody hell. Oh. Why has Magic got an exosuit? Look, it's not even that, that. The funny part of that entire round is the fact that Vitality didn't know where the bomb was the entire time. They just knew where the players were. They're like, well, we can win just by eliminating Let's everybody. Find them. We, we don't need the objective. Oh, yes. That second shot. Boop. Plucked him out of the air. Landed on the half wall as well. I think you get an extra point for that. Judges now, the scorecards are in. And the force buy is not. So Spirit most likely going to be forfeiting round number 17. That should be putting Vitality up to 11. Just taking a look at their buy because this will most likely be the same guns they'll be rocking into the following, assuming not too many people go down to these clocks. And if I was a betting man, I'd say maybe one kill, two at most, and less than that now with all that utility damage. Chopper, Mia. They've been absolutely beaten into submission. Yeah, jump for info. Get does bear fruit, and maybe you're going to see that smoke deployed on sound cues. That's it. It's a bit late. They might disrespect it. Good call. They decide that's enough. They pull out some util. It's certainly more than nothing, but it's not too much. Now, bounding around this Glock train, looking to find its station of choice. Ideally, you'd be avoiding SMGs, but with three in play chat, I don't know how realistic that is. <laughs> Yeah, and I think by the time you find where the SMG is, you're yeah. probably already dead. So Zaiwu is ready over in the trash position. He has shocks there baiting for him if necessary. Bracket control comes on here. Zaiwu peaks, and he only gets one. Yeah, this should be a cleanup, and it is. Looks like Apex has done well to find him with the MP9. That's perfect work. Three frags adding to the bank balance puts him well into the 5.7k region. Now the AKs will be coming out. No plant in the first meant the eco had to be swallowed, but... Apex can drop Zyro and Orp here. Could, yeah. And what? And you play with it all the bone. Oh, it's cool. That's really cool. This is another powerful tool in the Vitality defensive arsenal is you can, if you win that pistol, go for the SMGs more liberally because you know if you are getting a couple of frags, you could just put him on the big green and play ratty angles, play off meta CS. He's actually going to be over towards A. They're playing three of them quad side. We know They're boosting onto the Majiggy. Yeah, so getting it up on the balcony will be shocks. And there is Zywu. He ran around the long way, picked into second mid, and killed Chopper all the way back on the bridge. That's the way to go. Bombs there now, all the way at T-spawn. And Mir has opened up B. Now, unfortunately, they won't be able to punish this too much. Yeah, no space is able to be taken right now. Apex will be able to cover things off with this smoke for 20 seconds. Mir shouldn't push into this as he doesn't have teammates with him just yet. And Apex with the sound cue, they are going to have an idea that he has transitioned over towards the site. So I would picking down middle means that a rotation can start to come on in, but no one from Vitality is moving just yet. This must is be, all on Apex. It must be Apex calling. He doesn't need help yet, but he hasn't had any sound cues. Is he baiting in the, the dark emo corner? Okay. Trox is coming. The attack's coming though before he'll get there. That's for his first look. Spots one, spots two. Tap it away. That's disbalance gone. And Molotov to Good Molly. stop the push. A flash as well for his team to continue to close the gap. It's Magix with a click, clean kill. Difficult now. Zaiwu, this is not the kind of situation Orpa thrives in, but he is no ordinary Orpa. Magix is gone as well. Go on. Mir's not having any of it, but a down to half. And opportunities from both sides. Banana and Coffin, surely, as soon as he starts pulling that trigger, he'll be shot in the backside. Good attempt. It was a good attempt. Mir found the opening. That was the only reason that attack came on in towards the B side. So Spirit are doing the best with what they had. But Zyra with the AWP, I think it unraveled them a bit. Expecting somebody to pick out second middle with the AWP from window like that late. It wasn't the insta cross and jump and fight. It had that few seconds delay. So you can understand why Chopper wouldn't be ready for that. And then two more from Zyra when they even pick him up the orb to carry it through into the next. No plant means no extra money. Means, oh dear. I bloody love it when we see like a group of people sitting down to watch Counter-Strike Enjoying match. it. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Couple of lads. Enjoy yourselves. Have a nice evening. That's what I'm going to try and do. Only deagles though. It's a bit of smoke. It's a round we've seen many a team convert. Ooh, couldn't have avoided that one if he tried. That corridor was perfect for that HE and now they're Looking at the ground, lining up their set positions for their execute. Hydus Balance has a smoke and two flashes. Chopper with one smoke and a flash of his own. And SDY with one, and the attack is coming in. 
Four players on A to receive. Yep. They've got all the pieces in the right place. Saiwoo does pull the first trigger. And the second is finished off as well. Looks like... Oh, B's open is open. Saiwoo's going to have to get his knife out. Put his Nikes on and run. Flank coming in fast. Smoke will arrive to enable the plant. Zaiwu trying to slow them down, but Disbalance plays it nice. Good anti-flash. Mir hunted, though, and now Disbalance is going to be contested on that plant. He will not be able to contribute. So a Valiant attempt, well handled by Vitality, puts us into 13, and now real dangerous territory for that 2-0. This is quick. This is quicker this than is I thought getting, it was going to yeah, be. I, I need to see some resistance out of uh, Spirit pretty damn soon. Perfect setup. No one's going to be looking towards the position of Shocks in Trash there and finishes it off with the Tech 9. Vitality really will punish you if you give them anything. And while well, they're taking this game by storm, 13 to 6 for everybody listening on the radio. Three man B lean this time round. Zywo over there with the AWP, so mixing it up. It's been a nuisance ever since they bought it on the first gun round. It's going to continue to be they push forward into the tail end of map number two. Just the standard exchange of utility, a nice little dunk nade there onto Chopper, continuing to pepper away. Chip damage, as it were. And now Zywo, after shooting the AWP towards the top banana, is back towards top mid. And what that means is more utility will have to be used to flash off the lines from Spirit. They're scared about the big green. RPK and Apex are completely, well, almost completely out of utility. Apex just has one smoke grenade this is left. It's a nice alternative, though, Chad. It allows them to ideally avoid the majority of the Molotovs and a bit more of an interesting angle as they enter into the site. Apex dropping that smoke will give them roughly until 30 seconds before it subsides. Spirit are now getting ready to pull the pins, and Zai will be the player in rotation again. So let's see how quick he can get a move on. This is potentially a double pump here. The first CT smoke goes out. Mir now getting into a close position to pounce. The second wave being readied. That's it. They're going to surely see the rotate come in now. More B utils. I was on his way as well. 20 seconds. This has to be the full commitment. They know it. RPK, a couple of kills is what he needs. He gets nothing. Apex steps up to the plate. A second chance squandered. Idis Balance shuts him down. Zywu to contest that plan. Wallbang hits. One more. Just missed him narrowly. Could have been, won the round right there, right then. You're going to save instead. So, honestly, just seven points of health. The difference between round 14 on the board for Vitality and round seven on the board for Spirit. They did well to keep it clean. And RPK, unable to convert from the boost that we were discussing, means that Spirit, with a very simple approach, just sit back, wait out the utility, go for an execute of our own, trade efficiently, Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Sometimes Kiss. the uh, best approach to life and Counter-Strike. One will go off. Seven posted on the board. Money not fantastic for RPK. However, pretty good for everybody else. Weapons should be dropped on over. Another buy will come through. And I wonder if we see Zywu go more aggressive this time to see if he can find that opening pick like we've seen in the previous Having no utility left on that B site, you can see how much more difficult it becomes to defend. There was a good flash assist for Apex to get a kill there. And notice how they both played in the site. They knew if it was going to be a set piece onto B that you should have your defenders in the site. A lot of teams like to play one in tow, getting rotated through CT spawn. But you're locked out if utility usage is good. And speaking of utility usage, well, we're back to the number one place in the game where grenades are thrown. Banana. Yeah, one's quite ahead of the curve here. Mir using that smoke to his advantage. Now we potentially caught off, but... Just as he rounds the corner, safe and sound. Is RPK aware? Wow, that was a very well handled maneuver. Yeah, well handled by the tank. Trying to get his util out. Looking good. SCY's ahead. He can't retreat now. He's really getting the sticky situation. Zywu to be boosted or to do the boosting. Rifle to contest. Spots one. Chipping away at SDY, they know the bomb's gonna go down any second. Do they want to contest this? Masuta so late on the rotate. It is essentially a 3v4. There's two mollies in play, so a molly to emo and triple. Colt could be on the cards here. Smokes as well. They're setting it up. They're talking it through. They're getting it ready. Two players towards Banana. Now locked off. Flash is coming through. Molly's as well. 
Molly, Orange is Molly, Emo. Emo taking that fight. Magic is burning. Chopper does well to find something in full blind, but Zybu's back into the side now. Oh, Magic's in his shots. It's Magic saving the day. That's the round. Spirit fight on and extend their, or rather close their gap. Magix is on the hunt. I wonder if he's going to find another. Yeah, he does. Apex will just take one for his troubles. Oh, he's hoping that AWP might get blown in his direction. It wasn't to be the case. Not in a position that Apex was able to scavenge it. And that, unfortunately, if you are a Vitality fan, means one thing. Most likely a save round coming on through. This was the youngster of Spirit getting it done. The double kill. Shocks and Zywu getting melted away. The two big fraggers. Can't tell if Apex gave himself a face smash lunch there or what, what was going on, but he will have the save down four. P250s, Deagle. Still a winnable round for Vitality. Never count them out. Never count anybody out oh. of these rounds anymore. The level of Counter-Strike that we get to see, just how proficient these players are with every single weapon in the game. Whilst I agree, that is a very nasty start. They've also denied all of that banana info, so they are taking a lot of initiative here. The bomb at T-Steps. Similar to the first round of play. But there's no chance of the time really running low. Maybe RPK can be a rascal around that smoke and try and find one. Nice quick adjustment from Mir. And now the bomb's on its way. They're clearing through T-Apps, so they won't have the info they needed. I'd say that's the round right there, as unexciting as it is to hear. Vitality aren't really in a position to be retaking this. Not allowing the frags to come through means there won't be a huge buildup of extra cash. They still will get a win bonus. That's always great to have. But if they offer up a couple more kills, three of them to be exact, that's an extra $900. And $900 in Counter-Strike is the difference between three smokes or no smokes. Or nearly the difference between a fan mass and an M4. Mm -hmm. Diffuse kid and a couple of flash bings. Flash bing? Could still be a couple of casualties here. Everyone just starts pulling the trigger as the bomb goes off. No one's uh, added to the list. And it will be seeing the first of many. In fact, there's that no, the remaining timeouts one. That always catches me out. I thought it's the number of timeouts, but it is just what is left. So that's the third called by Vitality. Just trying to get their heads in gear. I wonder if they want to go for a full banana control. Maybe have four individuals lean on over or three individuals lean on over and just go all in. Make sure that they can take it off of that, of Spirit. And the reason I say that is Spirit have been going to one side of the map, round after round after round. It's either been contact heavy, Mir taking a lot of space, doing good executes, doing double pumps. There's been a lot of different looks so far. So it's not that they're just rinsing and repeating B. They're rinsing and repeating the site, but the approach is always different. And that's going to keep Vitality on their toes. So now is when you can consider a change of pace, a change of tactic, a change of uh, aggression. Zywu has the AWP. That's back on out. M4s are in play. It doesn't look like a change of approach. So they're uh, sticking to their guns here, staying a little bit stubborn, Vitality. It might be the right call because guess what? Spirit are going towards A. Zywu now sets up on the quad. Flashed off, eliminated, that's a colossal start. Oh, oh SDY doesn't even get stopped eventually. Shox gets the frag, but that's the round, just like that. Quick hit towards A. The flash was perfect to lock off Zywu. They're really closing oh, this no. gap, Chadney. Yes, and great stuff from Spirit. I didn't think they were going to walk away with a clean round. That is SDY coming up huge with those two kills. The flash was perfect. The second shot, I'm assuming it was spectacular. Yeah. To adjust into shocks after the damage inflicted. Very, very impressive stuff. And they are on the hardcore hunt here. They know the power they possess if they can completely send them back to squalor. CT's loss bonus 2.9, so you can do the maths yourself. These two rifles are integral to a solid response from Vitality. They're practically executing into the site. There's one, two, and three. They defend, preserve. Maybe even an AK if they were feeling ambitious, but I think they'd rather just survive after all of that. So there it is. It's 10 round spirit, keeping it competitive, and that is a slew of four. Let's see that second shot and two shots. Ah, that was Masuta that went down. Nice. Shots eventually the third to fall on the A site.
hand in hands for just a moment, but plenty more rounds of play. They basically have gone four for four right now into the uh, second half. They've been able to drop and make this buy work, but it's not going to be easy if they continue with the same approach. Now, the question is, are you playing mind games with Spirit? Are you now thinking to yourself, well, they'll go back to B, they just went A, right? That's what I'd be thinking because that's the first transition we've really seen back over towards that A site in this slew of rounds. Now, you could be assertive. You could go aggressive like I was suggesting earlier. But now, if I'm Spirit, I'm thinking, well, they haven't come aggressive in a while, so maybe yeah. we should slow it right down, guys, and just play very, very default. It certainly not looked bad for them. I mean, Mirage, it felt like the, the, the quicker Team Spirit were, the better it worked out. But in Inferno, it does seem like, yeah, just giving Vitality enough time to outmaneuver themselves. Everyone's spending all their pennies, all their schmeckles in pursuit of the 14th. Vitality, a four-round drought for them. Quite the opposite for Spirit. I can't believe they're going back to the same approach here. They're just playing the standard two players over towards the B side. They're not mixing anything up other than not using so much utility over towards Banana early. But the liberties are being taken by Spirit again. You can see how quickly they are to force forward, to use light utility knowing that they're back on the site. The exchange of damage is, is quite low. Apex still now just down to a flash and a smoke. He's getting flashed forward through the molly. He's committed. Oh, and Chopper gets him full blind. That was Vitality trying to turn the tides and now... Things are getting awkward for the French squad. Apex, are you really playing around it? He does. He tries to isolate one and gets away with it. That is unbelievably risky. Gosh, that could have gone so many different ways of wrong, but he does manage to keep this competitive. It's a four on four now, Chad. Oh, do they want to gamble? No, they don't. They're putting all the pressure on Apex once again towards the back of the side, but look at Spirit sticking to their guns. They're still in banana utility out once again. Two smokes and nobody can help him now. The call coming on through, whoever made it, whoever said, I've got it. What? Okay. What? Will it spread? What? They're gonna call it clear. He should just hide. He yeah, should yeah, just yeah, completely yeah. hide. Completely. Oh, Apex. Oh, there's a world where they set up for after plant positions. They just, they would have assumed it was clear. Still a way back in. Up from Banana, Magix and Chopper, bomb on their side. Smoke for the construction, opting for CT. Two from that banana, and that's the shot they needed. Masuta has been delivering them in buckets and spades. It puts it all onto Magix, and playing around that CT smoke has given him the first. Oh, Vitality holding it together just by the skin of their teeth. 14th found. And it's down to Masuta. A lot of credit for him. Zywu in partnership with him. The A players retake B. Look at the money on the, t on the team of uh, Spirit side. Of Chopper has almost 12K. They can definitely buy. They can keep this one very aggressive. The plants are good. The damage is fantastic. This Molly, I cannot believe that it did not spread. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Counting his lucky stars is Apex right there. You get the fright of a lifetime. I was like, wait, wait, what? What? Yeah, I'm sorry. But you can see, I can see it's exactly why you're frustrated because it's such a, a rare opportunity where oh, you yeah. know that, that that team has called emo clear. 100. percent Daiwoo, how long will you stay there? Okay, smokes and gap. Oh, 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 oh that's so naughty. Using that extra window given to him by the smoke. He's gone back in for more. Zoe wants to call Banana Clear, and I think he has done a good job of that. So the rotation over towards A, there's four lying in wait. Vitality is set up on the other side of things. Dribble smoke out apps. Need exchange. This is a crucial round for the direction of this game. Spirit looking to take us to three, and ooh, that flash does buy them some time, some space as well. Apex about to be tested. And a clean drive by from Magix. Quickly lined up and traded Trades. again. Back and forth. Favors the T's now. Three and three. He wouldn't, would he? He's gonna find something. Chopper does catch shocks on his adventures and into the apps. Masuta caught out as well. This is the one they're gonna want to forget. The A defense. Good stuff from Spirit again. The trades are on point. Magic's with the opening onto Apex there, not even getting an opportunity to react when that kill comes in. That's really good, right? And then the fact that they're able to, to trade on the wrap, you can see what that does to the two players from Vitality left on the side. They still have their own zones to worry about. And then they've lost track. They've lost complete track of where the attack's coming on through. They get whittled away. Vitality concede 11 rounds now. Two more for them to take this one across the line. Sitting at 14, sitting pretty. 
So I was holding on to the AWP. It's a very, very potent weapon for this absolute superstar. So the save makes sense. There's no way back into A, and there should be a save call coming on through from Vitality, just using this AWP to see if they can crack anything open, find any early kills. This is the trade here from SDY. Important that RPK doesn't get a double there. And this was a very odd scenario. So Shox wanted to move forward because he knew that the rotation could be coming in from behind him from the site. Suda is also worried about that horse position because of that limped out smoke we saw earlier. They threw that smoke and then they ran all the way back around. Spirit at this current juncture of the game could be finding themselves with 12 rounds just against some light upgraded pistols, an MP9, the saved AWP. If Zywu can find this kill, it might actually force Spirit over towards the B stack, but he needs to find some impact or at least do some damage so they think twice about Heading towards his bomb site. Oh god, there's a what? Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's been heard. Yep. God, that's a lot of responsibility. So he's hearing the pins pulled, hearing the steps, tucking into the pit side with the AWP solo A. Eh? Surprisingly, he hasn't shot yet, just as a warning shot. Just about, hey, it's here, I'm here. Yeah, you are. Right, he's certainly not making a secret that there is presence there, but look. It's worked it's anyway. Worked. It's worked. Or at least it looks like it's shaping up that way. They are returning. Inquisitive now. There's a timer on this. That hole smoke's yeah, clearing soon. SDY could walk straight into the crosshairs. I was tucked in on the corner. He is just so mobile. Biggle. First frag found and they're now retreating. Might call for the rotate Bombs off the the bomb. And another frag for Zywoo. This is what Vitality needed when they put the AWP in his hands this oh my round. God. Three, four, give us the whole five. Not today, Mir. Shatters the dreams of the ace, but the round surely won. Four players, armored pistols, an AK scavenge, RPK caught in the smoking fade. And now, oh. no bullets. <laughs> Good grief, saved by the mag. Wow, there was a second there. A few more bullets and he potentially gets a spray transfer. That was huge from Zywoo. Oh boy, well, a round which was just a saved AWP runs away and that's 15 on the ball for Vitality here. Let's watch this one back. Ready for SDY, oh, yes. constantly Timings. moving. Yeah, he's such a nuisance. Every time, like the comms for Zywoo's location are just a ready, you have to be vague. He's on a site. Somewhere. He's a site. Get him. Yeah, Pray. on the box, but he won't be there anymore. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's 15. They do get it. It's an arduous task, though. Spirit are keeping this one entirely competitive. Another different look. Zywe on B early, and Mir's wide swing does get them a little nervous. I wonder if cycling through his nades. Yeah, he's going to throw out the HE and not going to be too much of an issue. Vitality are really banking that they go back to one of these successful B hits. And that could be the right call. Apex now, as I said that. Apparently you can hear me. Rotating all the way. Back to the A site. The bomb still towards boiler. Bracket control has been conceded. So is top of banana. So all the information is currently lying in the favor of Team Spirit. 50 seconds on the clock. Enough utility for an A execute. I just found for this primary weapon of choice. I think they're going all in. Yeah, so we might have a chance to pull the trigger. Timing just not there. Suta, so many targets in his magic's just flying through the smoke with a deagle. Shock's trying to have the element of surprise here. Zywu peppers one, peppers two, and Shox does find one on the way. They've managed to keep it competitive, even though it looked like it was all swimming. Four team spirit, Apex through the smoke gets caught out. Mir surely done enough to make this 12 happen. It's just the tank RPK rotating in. They know he's the B player. Plenty of uncertainties and he is stomping his way into the site, hoping Mir would have a look. He has got a Molotov to at least make things a little more. Oh, he's fluffed it. He has, yeah. He's now disbalanced, isolated, and found. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the spray transfer was almost dead on there. He was nearly onto something. Mir needed four in that round to get them across the line there, so good stuff from the start that we've been highlighting. We might get a couple of them here. There's the first, the second, important onto shots. This one, a bit of a freebie as Apex was trying to play the smoke timing and RPK finished off and you're lucky. You see everybody, you see how Shox is tapping his headphones there? 
Let me tell you what he's doing. He, he's muting his microphone. Yeah, you can say it out loud. You just say it out loud for you, not just everyone. yourself. Just yeah. the, just let let it out. Yeah. Make sure no one else hears you being a bit, a little bit angry. Harder to hide it, Lan. <laughs> yeah. That's you, Chad Lowe's. Teammate uh, looks at you and. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, I'm getting shivers just thinking about it. But again with this hero warp, Zaiwu could have the entire round in the palm of his hand, but. Nothing else to support. The supporting cast, and they're gonna fly out behind him here. Misuta can't contain this. He can't do anything. What's Zai was supposed to do? He's tucked into the site. It's the right choice. And a oh. quick fling. My goodness, is SDY though. 2v3. Yeah, it's certainly not out of the realms of possibility, Chad. The bomb will be down thanks to disbalance. The smoke were deployed to buy some time. Double so orbs. By Young and disbalance both opting for the AWPs. Let's see how this one works out against pistols. You better be hoping you're hitting your shots. Disbalance can drop a smoke short. Apex is being hunted. SDY was some oh no. very surprising play, and that's oh what no. I was talking about. SDY for the ace clutch. Swips to the deagle, makes sense. Half health, and he gets it as well. Just using that smoke as it fades. An ace to keep spirit in it. They've got the individuals. My God, the, the the choice to pull out the AWP. Double, in fact. Yeah, okay, you have to, <laughs> have to laugh about that one. Oh, wow. How close are these rounds? We had Mir with a 4K. We've got Zywu still lighting it up with the AWP. SDY getting it done in the late round situation. I know it was only pistols, but that was just a scary, scary round. It was a scary round. The, the, the game was about to end, Chad, and if the SDY and Disbalance didn't do that, maybe a third map on the card. Let's see. Charging down middle, a different plan for Shoxy. Kind of like the look of it, but oh, Disbalance is in such a prime position. Oh, this is instrumental right now. This is oh. absolutely insane. He's got the perfect timing. Oh, dear. He was watching, though, and he gets nothing for it. The trigger discipline bites him in the backside. Another, another one. Suter checking his corners, but SD White collects another headshot. Team Spirit, they are on track for OT. If it still is the set piece and RPK and Apex both tuck into the site, there is a world where they can... Get some multi-kills and make this one an interesting round. And they're even bringing their biggest gun over. The gamble stack here with a minute left on the clock. Vitality, they're making a call. It could be <laughs> fantastic, but as we can see, it's quite the opposite. It's all a ruse. And what's going to happen right now, ladies and gentlemen, the chopper's going to go in. He's going to see a couple. And he's going to tell his teammates to scurry on over towards that A site. I don't see Vitality going for this. There's not a world where this retake makes any sense. Yeah, it's just going to be super uncomfortable. Should just get the bomb down now. Everyone is more than happy to allow the weapons to stay where they are. You hold on to your goodies. We'll keep ours. We'll see you again next round. So, folks, this series hangs in the balance of a single round spirit. Have had quite a fantastic T side here. Looks like this will be their eighth T round. Vitality after their initial four pistol and conversions following has been just spotty independent rounds. You think we get the shocks reaction cam after that one? Like that, that one. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh gonna get you under your skin for sure safe safe haven in the pit and this the x gods around with a he grenade but this is yeah this is so a nasty lucky. yeah he was anti-flash i don't even think that he was worried about like, the flank you can see how late he was to actually like look at shocks oh, oh. what do you even say oh, yeah. Yeah. no no <sighs> couple banana couple banana i'm just gonna have to let that one go <sighs> Okay, orbs out, vitality, full utility, weapons are plenty, Famous is not fantastic, but it's do or die, it doesn't matter, just get everything you've got, throw it all in. Zywu with the AWP over towards the B site, he's tucking in towards the back. And Apex wants to bring the fight to them, they'll deny a lot of info, and that smoke works quite nicely for him if they're not sitting on logs, he waits for the flash to take his seat. He just took a lot of damage from that HE. He did, half health. He only has a flash to work with here, so... He's solo, Chad. You know, they, they can't leave him on his own. They just cannot do it. There's been a lot of B hits in this game. Just that in the back of my mind, if I was Vitality, if I knew that that was a probability, I would have to play just the 2-3. And you don't have too much info. They just took back mid-control. 
What on earth? Oh, no. SDY could go huge here. He could. Back turned at the moment, though. Timing. Yes. Wow. Quick reactions into Masuta. Zainu trades, but that's... They're going to go on B. Yeah, they Surely. They must know that's the luck. Magic setting up for smokes. Zywu is on the rotate. Nothing called middle yet. He's got a molly. RPK's on his way as well. Flash for Apex to slow them down. It does look like there's a chance for them to contest this. Timing's everything. And in we go. Just out of the smoke. It's great. Oh, no. It's so wild. Look how low they are. Mir finally shut him up. It's a three on four. This next frag is everything. Zywu, no real vision. He sees a spots one crossing. And Chopper with low HP does it again. Overtime written all over it in varying colors and degrees. Just balance is holding banana. Could be, couldn't really be a better weapon for the job. And RPK, they are softened up. Maybe there's one last fantastic performance, but no, not to be. We go to OT. And after what was a spectacular start, we have to take a quick break. They're just going to get themselves prepared. MR3, 16K, just coming up after the break. We're back, folks, with Team Spirit and Vitality. The map is Inferno. You can see Zywu quietly contemplating as he lets out an Ali. Let's go. I've got Chaddy B, who's also fluent in multiple languages. I believe one is Australian, American, right, right, yeah, the American yeah, you got. English. He's got them all. Uh, but for now, we are prepared for Spirit Vitality's overtime. MR3 16K is the format. It is round robin. Eight teams in Europe for the two groups. 
Dust two up next if we need it, but Spirit, oh, they've done a good job to get us this far. Can they get Dorping. us any further? You're right, straight off the bat here. Shock's thinking he needs a little bit of a change up. Didn't see it really once on that uh, CT side. He's hyper aggressive right now, and this won't be heard because everybody is over towards Banana. So if Shocks continues forward on a timer here, Alex, they could actually have at least three or four over towards B. No worries whatsoever. They devoided it quite nicely. They've got Zywu set up in an aggressive line to at least try and find one, and he doesn't miss. Falls off very fast. Apex splashed off. They got flashes for deep CT. They want to get Mir in construction. That is their intention. Zywu, though. Posted up wow. and deleted. Mir is a beast. Truly very impressed by what he's been bringing to the server today. A re-smoke on the deep CT. The flashes towards deep CT. And just watching it from Apex's POV, you could see how screwed he was. And SDY starting Team Spirit off to a flyer. Smokes on the coffins. Mir in the off angle. I don't see a world where Masut is going to be able to find his jewels cleanly. How does he even isolate it? Such a... Oh, okay, there's one. There's the second. Suit of the game changer, but not oh. enough. Just Balance and Magic's happy to collect 16. And again on the B site, so perhaps a bit of a, a, a glimmer or a glimpse into what Vitality have been having issues with throughout regulation. It is those just, we're going B. Yeah, finishing B. Yeah, and then occasionally we'll put an A in there just so you don't have to think. Well, we'll go we're A. Gonna go, we're gonna go. We're definitely, we're definitely gonna go B. But uh, look, if Spirit are able to run away with more rounds of just having this kind of uh, attack, which has B. Been, it's been <laughs> different paces. It's finally, I, I'm surprised we didn't see this in regulation out of Vitality. They didn't take any risks like this. I think they thought that Spirit wouldn't be as stubborn in their approach. So what this allows is initial utility exchange to come on through. The two players you have leaning on over, throw their mollies, throw their smoke, set you up. And then your original B holders, which are Apex and RPK can throw through the second wave. They can drop their Molotovs, their smokes. Oh, wow. To be fair, though, to Spirit, they've they've solved this. They've handled this well. They pivot chopper just floating around T-apps, and they're the ones that have done the utility damage. So much cash squandered for the French squad. Now, utility being deployed towards their apps progress. You can see they've got plenty of uh, pre-coordinated moves for space. Gosh, Saibu, this is ambitious. Yeah, flashed off the line. He's lucky to tuck in in time. Brackets denied. Back to B they go. Look at this. Here we go. grab the bomb. And now there's only one there. And it's They're playing this well. RPK as well. Smoke and a flash for him. Apex has nothing in rotation to help out with. So if it's just a B hit, they're not winning on the retakes. They're having a... Oh, they're taking back mid-info. This is good. Very good. And that's... Look at this. Look at this cat and mouse game. Now the bomb's flowing through middle. So they took back top mid info, so now they rotate back yeah, to A. Exactly. So what, you're going to take back top mid and then go back to B? So I was trying Come on, to guys. Edges bet. Will they, won't they? Cold, hot. Surely they need info banana. This otherwise... is all on Shocks and Masuza. They have to get at least three. And they hear it coming. Tucking in. Need a multi from Shocks here. Diggle the first. And not enough to convert into SDY. Surely that's enough again from Spirit. This reactive play definitely taking some of the wind from the wings and ooh, that spray not far off on SDY's cross back box for cover. Very hard retake. I don't know how you Possible. find anything. Impossible. Yeah. Flash from RPK perhaps. It's not going to get him far. Missed shot. They know now there's a pit author. One on the site. Charge in, RPK making space, Disbalance is on the pit. He's been found out, Chopper short. Apex can get both of them here, but it would be perfect. Disbalance has got too much brain. And a little bit of brawn sprinkled in for good measure. 17. Oh, if we get to dust two as the final map here Whoa. in the series, it'll be an absolute brawl. And I know the pace has been slower than what we'd expect and, and the way I prefaced it, these teams are loving a duel. But when we get into the mid rounds, you can see the individual prowess coming through. Remember how we got this far? SDY had that ace where he had the MAC-10 to entry into the side. He picks up the AWP. He finishes off with the Deagle. We've had Zyu with multiple big rounds. Mir going fantastic all across the map. Slinking into B, finding four kills on that A site. After the way their CT side has gone, one round would be enough. And there's the suicidal banana. Hold. Having to operate under a huge, colossal disadvantage right out of the gate. They wanted to rock the boat. They wanted to take that banana control, but this time it's met by SDY. Another player that can be such a nuisance. It was at the tip of the tongue of many a player when we asked about whom was the biggest threat. This is great stuff from Spirit. 
they really are set up here to be converting all three in the first half of overtime. Three T-side Inferno rounds. That is more than enough to close this one out. One minute left on the clock. Selling a bit of a fake over towards the B-bomb site. We know how skittish Vitaly are going to be to rotate over and help on out. Shock's going down through the smoke. The site is open. Chopper can call this. He can even have the troops come on over, but the rotation from Vitality oh, it respects see. it. Does he have an inkling? Does he have a, a premonition? Oh, this is hopeless. Yeah, it is. It really is. Masut is rotating to be. I mean, he has to. And there, so are they. Okay. There's a, okay, there's a window. There's a window where Zywu goes absolutely crazy. That is the way that Vitality win this round. And the only way. Yeah. They'll smoke the cross, right? Flashes as well. They've got all the bells and whistles they need. A flash from a suit to try and disrupt. He does stop the plant. Gives Zywu some more time to play with. And there's 15 seconds. No chance to stop Chopper. <laughs> he would have to. No. No, no, no. That should be 18. Does adjust into uh, Chopper. I'm not sure how that lasts. And now uh, another. Come on, Zywu. A demonstration. Class is in session. Spots disbalance. He thinks there's one emo. There's one hiding and cowering in the pool. The flash. The fake. It's Mir's frag. But my goodness, didn't he give it a good go. 18 for Spirit. One round is all they need of the coming three. Zyra felt like he had armor there. Yeah. Like they all shot and missed initially and he had a chance to flick to them. Even Mir in pool missed initially and then was able to flick to the kill. So, ooh, I don't see a world where Vitality strings three in a row. And the reason I want to say that is because I hope Team Spirit have a bit of tenacity about them here. You can take some really, really big CT side of risks. And I think you should do it on the first gun round. I think you should try something outside of the norm. Go for a pick that you wouldn't normally go for. Right. Go for a push. Go for a play that is outside of the wheelhouse of the team. Don't just go into the cookie cutter. <laughs> and that right there is the cookie cutter from Zaiwu. He loves this play with the AWP up banana. Oh, yeah, he does. I just can't believe he got away with Another it. One. He gets away with it all the time. Okay, Vitality have deployed the Zaiwu strat. And it's only SDY to contest it. He's got a smoke to contend with. RPK can't contain. Good control from Asuta, though, definitely. Oh. Could go down here. SDY's just being a rascal in this smoke. Asuta oh. elevated himself. This is smart. He has an idea. Oh! Pulled out three versus two. There's a world where this ends right now, unless Saiwa wants to continue what he started. Nader tags one. He's very low now. SDY at 16 HP. Should be no problem. As a flash for the final frag. Mir is a threat at all times, though. That got dangerous for a second there. The Molotov towards Pit had just missed, right? So yeah. Zywu could have gone down. There, there was a world. I couldn't believe it. Like, he was flashed through the Molotov. Do you think no. he closes his eyes and he just visualizes? Like, wh before the round starts, I was just sitting there, his keyboard going, all right, I'm going to go to this, then no, 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 W, jump, jump. A, I'm hitting A, jumping, mouse here, fire. <laughs> and then by the time he arrives in middle, disbalance is like, I should probably have him try and equalize that. And Zywu says, nope. <laughs> the thing is, for people who aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, go check out, like, Google Zywu Banana Orp, right? Yes, and perfect. watch him run up Banana in overtime games to save Vitality, right? He has gone absolutely mental with that play before. I'm not just talking about one kill. <laughs> I'm talking about four kills. Opening the site. Absolutely crushing the defense. So if he does it again, well, he, he can't. He doesn't actually have the AWP. He's picked in with the uh, AK-47 here. So take that back. Thing. Yeah. So they've got something in mind here. You can see very early smokes, very early flashes. This is what you were talking about, Chad. They're exploiting the early stack B. If they can find disbalance, if they can isolate some die young, this rotate could get cut off at the hips. Apex has to be careful. He loves to get ahead of his team here. And well, this time it's Zywu. They've always got a good flash in the back pocket. This is it. This is it. Dust two on the cards, folks. Apex and RPK. Giving it all she's got, Captain. Tries to fake with the jump off. Mir is on the flank. Apex isn't ready for it. And so, Mr. RPK. Team Spirit, a sensational Inferno performance has put us to the stage. And that's SDY to confirm it. A triple from him. And catastrophe for the French. They're going to have to reset. 